everybody, so welcome to today's video. I am up early. Okay, it is early. It is 11 o'clock in the morning. 11.08, exactly. 11.08, and I'm gonna be doing a video today that I have not done on my channel before, but I don't know if I'm gonna do many of these, but I just thought this idea came to me and I was like, I need to do this. There are millions of these on YouTube, but I wanted to go ahead and do this. As you can tell, I don't have all of my makeup done. I have my eyes done, um, foundation and concealer, which is Wet n Wild, and the, um, uh, what is it called? The e.l.f. Uh, 16 Hour Camo Concealer. And yeah, and for the eyes, I used the Makeup by Jack palette um, from Makeup Revolution. I used um, Cuppa right here, and then these two dark browns, and then the shimmer. And then I also topped that shimmer with uh, Ladybird by ColourPop because this is like one of my favorites. I love this shit so much. But I probably still sound like I just woke up, which, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but today's video is gonna be a competition with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus uh, Translucent Powder and the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder right here this is a six dollar powder and this is a thirty nine dollar powder yeah um, I have not seen anybody do this exact combination yet so I wanted to go ahead and do it but um, this has been out for a little bit this has been out for a little bit longer I think this has been out a year and this has only been out probably around eight months I think but I've been using this nonstop for about I think it I think it's been like a few months maybe a little bit longer than that but I love this this is my favorite powder and yeah so I'm trying to see if this um, is better than this one or if this is better than this one drugstore versus high-end yes so the reason why I'm doing this is because my cousin got her boxy charm and she's been getting it lately and she's been giving me things that she doesn't like and she saw this powder and she was like, yeah, I'm probably not going to like that. So here. And I was like, really? She was like, yeah. So I was excited. Um, so this is what the powder looks like. And it's a plastic top. I was expecting, you know, if it's Becca and it's high end, why is the top like metal? It's $39, right? You know, I don't know. That's just me. But if you're going to be paying like, to me, $39 is a lot. So... If you're going to be paying that much, I would expect, you know, good-ass packaging. But, uh, as you can tell, the Wet n Wild powder is bigger in size, um, packaging size. And the Becca powder has 35 ounces and 10 grams in here. And then the Wet n Wild has 70. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And 20 grams 70 ounces 20 grams you get how much more in here and you and this is only six dollars and this is thirty nine dollars and you get that much look at that you can even see like that gap where some of it's just why don't they just fill it up I don't get that I really don't but I've tried this powder already I like it but not like that much to switch over because no this is six bucks bitch um, but I did want to like give it you know a little bit of a go on my face so we're gonna do that now before this concealer um, sets in so on this side I'm gonna be doing the Becca and then on this side I'm gonna do the wet n wild so let's go ahead and get started I've been noticing that with the Becca um, people say not to bake with it I don't bake so you know I don't have to worry about that and also to people say um, not to use a sponge so I'm not gonna use a sponge on this side on this side I am gonna use a sponge because that's what I normally do but I'm taking this BH Cosmetics it's my Ray Ray number three brush and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on I like how it feels like it feels really cool but okay putting it on right here mix the brush for like it's wet I know this has been out a long time okay everyone's already tried this and all that I'm late to the game but I don't give a shit I don't believe like just because something comes out a year ago that it's like dead no 
Especially if I haven't tried it, like why not? But I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. One thing I did notice about this, it does oxidize. Um, not a whole lot, but it does. And Wet n Wild does oxidize too, but not a lot either. And it oxidizes, the Wet n Wild one does. Um, but I don't really care because it sort of matches anyway with me. And I love that powder so much. It's blurring. It feels really nice. It's lightweight. It blends amazingly. And this is really cute too because it has a little net in here. Not like a regular sifter. Um, and the, I don't know, I just like the Wet n Wild one. I'm a drugstore like affordable like person. I don't really care for high-end stuff. Like, I, if, if it's more expensive to me, mm, -mm. Uh, But, yeah. So, I am putting it under here. And then, so this half is going to be Becca. I'm going to go ahead and get a big brush right here. And then I'm going to sift it out a little bit. Get up in this. Okay. And I'm just going to get the rest of my face with this. Now that we have that one down, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Wet n Wild on this side. And I think you can probably already tell that it has oxidized already a little bit. Um, opening this one now. And I'm going to be using my sponge with this one. Also, I do want to mention this. I do have a dry spot right here. And this is where the Wet n Wild is going to be. So obviously this is going to emphasize this. But I'm going to try to sponge it um, and help it. But I always have like this dry spot. Always during the summer though. Never during the winter. But during the summer when it's supposed to be all hot. You know what I mean? Like normally your skin's drier in the winter. But whatever. Um, <laughs> so I have a dry spot here. So I'm mentioning that now. I don't want anyone thinking that it's the powder doing that. It's not. Um, it's my motherfucking skin. Blech. All right, so I'm putting some powder in here, and then I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. I probably should have, like, um, and instantly, instantly, look at that. I mean, you can't even see, so you'll see when I bring you close, but instantly this blurs instantly this isn't really like blurring too much um it's just like setting my makeup but this is blurring already blurring so that's why i love this shit so much okay so i have you guys closer so that you guys can like really look at my face i have no filters on my camera i don't play that shit people who have filters on their fucking videos on youtube stop um but i don't have any filters but as you can probably tell um the Wet n Wild side is so much more blurring than the Becca side. See that? Isn't that interesting? Yeah. But like the Wet n Wild just looks, and it looks a lot more brighter on this side. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah. So this is the Wet n Wild side. This is Becca. But yeah. So so far, that's what it looks like. I can't get any closer because I don't have those types of lenses, but this is as close as I'll be able to get. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and go on with my day. I'll do a couple of check-ins. Um, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then I'll probably see you guys. Uh, maybe I'll do like an hour in and then we'll see what's going on. But yeah, all right, so I will see you all. <laughs> hey everybody, so it is um, 2.23 in the afternoon. And I'm going to be wearing this until 4 o'clock. But as you can tell, this is the wet and wild side. And look how much more brighter it looks. And it's covering my pores a little bit more. Like blurring them. And then this side, hmm. I'm trying to give it a fair chance by putting it in good light too. It is good light. Same. Um, this side is not as bright as this one. And you can see my pores right here a lot more. And then on the top of my forehead, um, they're kind of similar. 
so can't say nothing really up there but like over here like this side compared to this side is um a big difference to me so okay there we go a little bit better but I'm pretty sure you can tell the difference I mean look at this side compared to that side so so far right now when wild is winning <laughs> um, and as for the rest though it's pretty regular my lip gloss is already gone because I ate but mm-hmm alright so I'm gonna go ahead and do my final check-in at um, 4 BAM we are up close hello um, if I sound like I'm crazy I'm exhausted because it's been on, I've had this on all day uh, my eyes are red because I haven't worn makeup all day since Pride last year so mm -hmm, my eyes are red so it's been five hours already um, it's probably like 350 something right now so we're gonna say it's four o'clock <laughs> um, it's like 350 something right now but um, I've had this on for five hours now and yeah so we are up close because I want you guys to get the good goods there's no filters nothing don't worry about any of that um, but so this side right here is the Becca side Becca Ooh, I don't want to blind you guys um, my thoughts on this side is that you can see my pores a whole lot more on this side um, it's just it's brightening just right in here but that's because I think I have the elf um, concealer and that's brightening too I'm right in here but right in here you can see the oxidation of the powder um, and it's just like it's just like a whatever powder like you could probably go to Dollar Tree and buy a, a translucent powder or a regular beige powder and it'll do the same thing like I don't really see anything that stands out at all except for the whole coolness but like if you really want that just go get a damn ice cube out of the refrigerator and just run it across your face um, <laughs> My forehead looks pretty good on both sides. Actually, looks amazing on both sides. I was really surprised because I did have my dry spot over here where the wet and wild is at, and it looks like it um, kind of went away throughout the day, probably because of my oily face. Um, but yeah, so those are my thoughts right here. Personally, I do not like this. Um, I am going to continue to use the powder because it was given to me, and. I've already used it and I've already had my hands in it so it's like I can't give it to anybody but um yeah so I'm gonna continue to use it probably like every day type thing just you know whatever um but like when I want to put makeup on on I'm gonna stick to my wet and wild look at this look how much more brighter it looks on this side do you see that you can't really see my pores as much because they're blurred and like everything looks so much better it does oxidize but not as much as this side um, and look how much just look it just looks prettier like you have to admit that it looks way prettier um, the rest of my face had the powder on um, back on this side you know it looks good this side looks good too but what matters to me is underneath the eyes um, and yeah so I'm gonna have to say that when wild wins so when wild is the winner six dollars for this powder go get yourself one it's worth it and it's really good I mean do I have to tell you more look at that yes and then also my eyeshadow stayed out pretty good it held up the makeup by Jack Revolution palette yeah so um, that's pretty much it so I will see you all next time with another video um, let me know if you guys would like more of these maybe I'll try to get a hold of some things in the future we'll see um, but I had a lot of fun doing this this was something really different that I don't do on here and I was gonna like push the camera back out, but I'm just gonna stay right here because I'm bitch fucking lazy. I can't wait to just clean this off. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you all next time. Go get the wet and wild powder. All right, bye.